The International Space Station is the only place outside of Earth that you can grow plants. And as it turns out, astronauts kind of like to do it. <laughs> and USU researchers are working on giving them a new way to grow these plants up in orbit. That's awesome. So we've been working on this for a long time, several decades. We've had other plant growth chambers 20 years ago up there. They were small, they were primitive. And now NASA says, okay, we know how to do that. Now let's make a bigger chamber and really start to grow some serious food. And so here it is. Well, at least the engineering version of it, a close to final version that the team is currently testing with. This unit is the step that comes after all of our initial prototypes where we're trying to be as cost effective as possible and test our concepts and hypotheses. And if selected by NASA, the team will build a final version of this to send to the ISS, ready to go, as an entirely self-contained plant growth system, being programmed to water itself and continually supply the soil with nutrients. They cannot come back for long term, so they have to deal with the growth media that they have. So our job is to ensure they keep planting, keep harvesting, to feed astronauts. The team worked closely with Space Dynamics Laboratory on this to help build this engineering model and later the Flight Ready system. USU Plant Science has the expertise to grow the plants and to understand the science behind it. And SDL has the expertise to put hardware into space to qualify the mechanisms that are needed. And so when we work together to create this hardware, it's a natural partnership. Currently, the International Space Station is set to retire sometime after 2030, but this research will likely outlive it. We're right now looking at possibly getting up there in 2026. And just getting to the space station is an opportunity to test this, but the ultimate goal is to put it on a ship going to Mars. And that may not happen in my career. It may be some of the people we're working with now, the students and postdocs, may be the ones doing that future work.